Speaking of one day cricket, I'm just going to go there. July 14th, 2019. Uh, Steady and Kane have said to you, you're going out to face the Super Over. What's the, the feeling, the thoughts, going from the changing room out to the middle, about to face the Super Over in the World Cup final? Um, it's funny, I, I've sort of asked this question a lot. Um, and it was just kind of excitement and sort of happiness, I guess, without a better way to put it, I think. Um, obviously, from where I was a year earlier, 12 months, 10 months earlier, um, I said to Martin Guptill, actually, before we went out, because we, we played club cricket together back in 2008, 9, 10 in Auckland, um, I sort of said to him, you know, from club cricket to Laws World Cup final, super over, you know, Harvard's life. And we sort of had a little laugh and went out and I didn't really feel any pressure at all to be fair. Obviously it's a big moment, there's lots of people around, you know, a few million watching on TV, but mm. um, I think that's one of the things I worked on so much in the off season um, was being able to handle pressure and, and being able to handle those situations. So it almost felt like, you know, this is the reason I did it all. You know, I'd much rather be here than playing club cricket or you know, working a normal job or whatever because all those hours I put into to mental conditioning and self-belief and all those sorts of things that people waffle on about, what better way to, to display those attributes than right now and right here. And mm. um, Obviously, it, it went the way it went um, and that's one of those things that'll sort of always be with me, I guess, but um, I certainly have no lack of pride around how we went about that tournament. Yeah. Did you, what was the, I'm just going to take you, after you hit that six, did you, was there a moment where you were like, oh shit, we're, we actually, we're going to win this? Or is it like, next ball, just keep going? Or did that ever come about? Or was that more, maybe when Boldy was bowling his last over in, in, uh, in regulation, um, was there a, a feeling like, oh, we're actually going to win the World Cup final? Or, or were you still in the moment, just trying to concentrate on what you're doing? Um... Probably, there are a few moments. The cricket's obviously a, a unique game in the way that you you have time to think mm. when things are happening. You know, rugby or football or basketball or whatever. You're always in the game. You're always making a pass or whatever. Cricket, you have time to sort of sit back and survey the landscape and sort of go, where do I think this game's going? Um, and yeah, there are multiple times during the last ten minutes of that game where I thought we'd won. I think when Ben Stokes hit a slow ball up in the air. Um, I thought, yeah, it, and it sort of went into Baldy's hands. I thought we'd won. Um, obviously, stepped on the rope. Then when Baldy was bowling the last over, and I think they needed maybe 16 off four or something, I thought it again. But um, those are all times when I wasn't involved. Mm. You know, I was sort of watching or I was at long on when Baldy was bowling. And um, you have time to think about those sorts of things then, but not when you're in the moment. I remember, I remember hitting the six and sort of glove punching Gup and, and sort of walking back to my mark and I, I, I smiled but I was smiling because I was looking around at the crowd and at the at the stadium and sort of going you know how good is this you know how good is this moment everyone's on their feet 27,000 people or however many were there everyone's screaming and I sort of took a moment to sort of look around and go you know this is the reason we play the game and um, unfortunately we, we had a a bit of bad luck on his last two balls, which which everyone knows in, in a pressure situation like that can happen. And um, yeah, I suppose the history books will be written, but um, yeah, it was it was one of those moments that you certainly never forget. Yeah, and I know you've you said to me a few times this season, any time you see the baby blue, <laughs> or like a, you know a certain ball that's bowled to you in a game, you just have little flashes or little moments where you just it just comes across your mind. Are they still happening, or is it that's just probably going to live with you, like you said? Well, that's part of you now. I, I think it'll be with me forever. I think, yes, yeah, certainly. I think about it all the time. You know, even now, sort of five and a bit months after the game, I, I sort of you know lie in bed at night, can't sleep, sort of thinking about that day and um, thinking specifically about the super over, and you know sometimes even just bowling at the death and. In a game, a T20 the other day, you sort of see someone hit a Yorker or see someone hit a six and you mm -hmm. sort of get a flashback. And um, I think that's just the nature of, of, of such a significant moment in your career is that um, it's almost sort of burns itself indelibly onto your onto your mind, I guess, and it, it'll be with me forever. And 
um, it, it's one of those things you, you sort of wish you'd lost by 50 because mm. if you'd lost by 50 you can sort of as cricket's a game where sometimes it doesn't go your way and you, you get to the World Cup final and you lose by 50 that's sort of a respectable result and you sort of move on but when it's so close and there are so many little moments where things could have gone either way and you sort of sit there after the game and go how did all seven of those 50-50 moments go against us in, mm. in that day and it'll be one of those things I probably need to go have a chat to Richard McClure or someone and ask them how they sort of got past the 2007 World Cup and, and got over that but um, yeah, it's still reasonably fresh, but I'm sure it'll sort of diminish over time. Mm. Was it